What is good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Foxy. Welcome back to the Fox's Den. We're getting to another episode of My Hero Man. Last episode, that shit was wild, bro. Like we really got into the the operation over in the Gunga Villa where they're you know invading the uh, the liberation paranormal liberation fronts sort of main base where most of the forces of their of their um, group are at, and you know they're they're starting to rally up all the villains and try their best to keep them all down underground and uh, not to let them escape or let them do what they want and capture as much as they can or whatever however they have to take care of them and as we see hawks and twice have an emotional encounter where hawks finally has to blow his cover because it's time the operation is underway and twice finally figures out like damn we're like a fucking like spy like I knew I shouldn't have trusted you, and this is like the second time that he fucks up, maybe even the third or something like that, because he, he's he, he's been in a situation like this before where he brought Overhaul to Shigaraki and the rest of them to meet up. In doing so, uh, they lost one of their companions' lives, which was Big Sis Mag, and Mr. Compress lost an arm. So he's always held himself accountable for that, and he has always wanted to be able to take accountability because it seems like he's, you know, he fucked up in that situation and he wanted to make it right. You know, keeps on doing his thing. He kind of gets past that after these past, you know, two seasons, five and six, and however much time has passed since that overhaul incident. That's been a while now. And to no avail, he ends up getting to himself in a situation again where he's very trusting. He is a good-hearted person, and he gets taken advantage of by Hawks uh, a little too easily. And, you know, pretty much Hawks' information that he gathered and gave to the heroes, he got probably like 90% of it from twice just because of how much they spent time together and you know all that stuff so it was very it was very traumatic for twice you know because it's the second time that he's done something like this and he, it made him feel really like shit but hawks was at least offering him like hey like just give up now like surrender like you can start a new life you can start from scratch like atone whatever and twice was like that's only what's you know um convenient for you it's not convenient for me like you know I, I consider these people and co-workers and these you know these co-villains that i'm with as like friends especially the core league you know the core league members he's done you know wanted to do nothing but support them in every way and and uh just be a you know a good member of the team really for for the league of villains and the, the villains as a whole and that just absolutely crushed him and so you know he tried his best to fight back and Dobby even ends up coming in to help twice a little bit. But Hawks is just too swift. He's too fast, as they say. And uh, he actually cut twice down. So that was a really monumental part in the show. Because, you know, there has uh, there has been deaths mentioned. And there has been, I think, at least maybe like one actual death. Has there been? I can't remember if there has been or not. Yeah, there has been. Yeah, yeah, because we were talking about Big Six Mag, like what happened to her, like she got killed, you know, from twice bringing overhaul to that, you know, to meet up with Shigaraki and shit. And who knows, more probably could have died. I mean, Mr. Krampus almost died. He lost an arm. But that was one casualty there, but that was a villain on villain. You know what I'm saying? That's not hero versus villain, and that's not villain versus hero. You know, a villain has yet to kill a hero in this show. At least from what we've seen so far with the League of Villains and whatnot. You know, like, a hero actually hasn't gotten killed. Maybe we've heard about a hero getting killed, like a low rank hero. Like, I remember, like, Deku saving uh, Kota. That one kid uh, that's, like, um, the... What, what is their name? The fucking cat. The cat heroes. I can't remember their exact, like, like group name. But when we were at that training camp and he saved Kota from that muscle dude. The muscle dude is the one that killed Kota's parents. Who were heroes... But they weren't, like, crazy talented heroes. So, like, obviously they got... They just... That was just bad timing. In the wrong place at the wrong time. They're trying to help people. But, like, it's just an uneven match. I mean, that muscle dude's quirk is insane. So, no wonder they, they, they got smacked and unfortunately passed away. And that really sucks for Kota. But, see, that's an example of a villain killing heroes. But that didn't happen, like, on the screen. That didn't happen, like, in this time. Like, we heard about it. We didn't see it. And it happened a while ago, too. Like, Coda had grown up a little bit before as well. So, like, who knows if the, the current group that we're with were even in high school yet. They could have still been in middle school um, and not even at UA yet. 
So, you know, that's something that we've heard about, but it actually hasn't been shown to us clear in day yet until now. Where, funny enough, you know, there's been a villain on villain death, and there's been a villain on hero death, and, well, a couple villain on hero deaths that we've probably heard about, but, like, that was the first one that came to mind that is actually explained as Coda's parents with the muscle dude. But this is the first time that we're actually having on the screen, actually happening, being shown to us plain and simple, a hero cutting down a villain, actually cutting him down and killing him. And that was Hawks up against twice, which is really crazy to see. So, you know, who, who knows how much more death, if they're showing us death this early, like actual death on the screen, and it's coming from the hero side first, who the fuck knows else who's going to fucking kick the bucket, bro? It, c it could be some more villains too. And, you know, who knows, like maybe even some heroes will go down. I would like to think that is not the case, but the fact that they're showing us actual death this early in the season is uh it's like kind of like a way of me seeing I, I feel like they're getting you ready or preparing you for what may come that's like like i said it's a big monumental step in the show to just see it plain and simple and it's just crazy bro i fucking oh my god dude all i know is this arc is gonna be fucking crazy when i read it it was absolutely fucking just on all fronts it was just fucking constant chaos and as we can see four episodes and even the opening episode it's just gotten right into it so much show to it we've already seen a death in the fourth episode so who the fuck knows else what happens from here i do know somewhat but it's loose and it's free so i can't wait to see and remind myself what the fuck goes down in this arc, man? Like, this shit is... This shit's popping off, man. Fourth episode in. I haven't even watched the fourth episode yet. We're about to. <laughs> I mean, for God's sakes. But this shit is... This shit is lit. That was a really good episode last episode. So I'm excited to see what this is about. And see where we continue with the operation. Maybe we'll go back over to the hospital, too, and see Mirko and Endeavor. Because last episode was completely with the... Uh, the... Edshot team. Uh, on their side, on the Gunga Villa. So... Let's see what's good. Let's get into this. If you guys enjoyed the reaction, please leave a like down below, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Plenty more on the way. Boku no Hero, Season 6, Episode 4. Jack of all trades, really, bro. Yeah, his quirk is really useful. He knows how to use it well. Yeah, bro, his quirk is very versatile. Ooh, okay. I like how they showed that conversation from back then, because he's fighting Dobby right now. Oh my god. <laughs> All the students are with Fat Gum, nice and safe in his belly. <laughs> you know what that is. Oh, giving us that little tease and then right in the intro. Of course, of course, like usual. Fire, let's go. Give me in. Let's go. What's happening? Oh, twice. Holy shit. Yeah, neither can I, bro. Neither can I. Damn, his wings are about all burnt up. Yeah, Dobby is pissed. Oh, that's right. He said he said Hawks' real name. Those are the only two we couldn't figure out about Shigaraki and Dobby. Their backgrounds are very mysterious. That's right. He he really looked looked up to Endeavor while he was being raised. He actually told him right there, but he didn't. They didn't let us hear, bro. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Bro, the fact that this dude had this much influence and it was so early on in the show is great. This scene, this scene was amazing. This scene gives me goosebumps to this day. The soundtrack behind it too. Oh my god. That scene was so good. He's literally just staring at the radio, waiting for orders. He's not. He, he doesn't do anything without orders. Hurry the fuck up, Endeavor. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get in there. There we go. Let's go. Just please help my girl out, bro. Come on. Sure, he took one down. She's taking these motherfuckers on 1v4. That dude looks like an elephant. Holy shit. Elephant v rabbit. Oh my god, bro, the animation is looking clean! So clean! Damn, these motherfuckers are taking it. Yeah, she's not getting weaker. They're getting better and taking this more seriously. Yes, they have. Oh! It actually, did it actually- No, it took a chunk out of her side. Holy fuck. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh! Oh, let's go! Yes! Bro, she is still going! The amount of wounds she has received? I fucking love Mirko, bro. I love these cutscenes. Oh, Aizawa, that's fire. I like that. The black and gray. All right, back to the episode. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this is not good at all. Ooh, she cracked it. Holy fuck, dude, this is only the fourth episode. This is already, like, just so chaotic, like, back and forth. Like, oh my god, this is so good. God damn, this Nomu is smart. It's, it's, it's actually thinking. Yes, it damn- damn right it did. Oh my gosh! Bro, nah, this is looking stunning. Every episode has looked amazing so far. Oh! What the fuck? Endeavor, you didn't do the finishing blow! Oh my god, bro. Seventy-five percent. It's fucking go, go, Mirko. Oh my gosh, bro. Bro, she is fucked up. Bro, I having eyes over here is such a fucking blessing. Bro, there's so much shit happening all at once. This is crazy. Oh yeah, he's waking him up now. So the max it got to was like 75%, right? It's completely broken now. All the solution is gone. <laughs> yes, sir. That motherfucker real for sure. Bitch ass. 
This is what you. This is for what you did to my fucking friend. Well, I would chop his head off just in fucking case, bro. God damn. Damn, so he's around like 120-something years old. Holy shit. Like Buddhas. Yeah, dude, he looks up to all for one exactly like that. Like a god. Like, holy shit. Mmm. That is a powerful sentence. No remorse. He just wants to accomplish his goals and his experimentations and support all for one. Like it's fucking like like Mike said, it's disgusting. What the fuck is this? Is this like inside his mind or something? Nothing can stand in his way anymore. Oh, 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 oh my fucking god! That 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 manga panel right there of his family trying to hold him from doing all that shit, trying to stop him from going forward with this. E even even All Might's master, bro. That manga panel was so fucking fire. Holy shit! That's one I that's one I will never forget. Seeing this anime, oh my gosh, bro, this is crazy. He's done with all that. He's already he's he's already been a part of this life. Hmm. The electricity. Oh shit. Oh my god, of course it ends there. Holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck. Alrighty, guys. I'm just, I'm just a little, like, fucking taken aback right now. Like, that episode and the show as a whole right now. Like, every episode has been so good from the start, and it just keeps getting better and better, as usual, man. Like, this this fourth episode was something else. Mirko is still going. Still going. Still getting wounded. She got a fuck. She's got a. She already had her arm fucked up. Was already kind of just physically fatigued and whatnot. And then this this episode, she she got like a chunk taken out of her side. Uh, she was impaled in both of her fucking thighs slash leg area. Like, bro, she's going through it. She's a fucking real one, dog. And she just kept going as long as she could until she finally got fucking knocked back by one of the Nomu and end of her. Was luckily, finally there to catch her and cauterize her wounds uh i didn't even think of him doing that it's actually a very useful thing like it's very and it, like because who knows if you can't make a fire in time or if you don't have the utilities to, like a torch or something that can you know produce flames or heat really quickly you gotta have an end of her like that's the quickest source of fire you could ever ask for so starts cauterizing her wounds right away and he was like, damn, I owe you from Kyushu, and now I owe you again, bro. It's like, yeah, you do. So you better you better do your fucking thing, Endeavor. Like, that, that shit was crazy, bro. Mirko's just going off. And then and then even even in the in the beginning of the episode, we caught up a little bit with what we left off of at the Gung Gungo Villa. Batgum and the rest of the forces, they just did that first outright attack, and now they are regrouping and backing up a little bit to create a full circle so they cannot escape and they have them trapped. Uh, and just have one big throwdown. Uh, Hawks is still very much on the front line and he's um, being confronted by Dobby and Dobby's like fucking freaking out and going through his own experience and uh, seeing that Hawks killed twice and he can't believe it. Trust me, buddy. I couldn't fucking either. So the fact that, that actually happened is crazy and, and Dobby is obviously pissed about it and, you know, starts talking about what his ideals are and like how his 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 goals and whatnot when he joined the league of villains weren't necessarily to help out shigaraki or whoever else like he didn't really care about that at first but one thing that always has stuck with him is pretty much like stain's ideology is where he's going to cast out the fakes and 
he believes that there's no such thing as uh, like as heroes like they're not a true hero uh I'm, I'm not even sure if he believes the same as staying if like all might is a hero i mean it, effectively all might is retired so does that even count anymore i don't think so so you know dobby sees it as like yeah all these heroes are fucking fakes like i'm fucking tired of them i'll cast them out you know like you know carry on stain's will so to speak but yeah and then and then it reminded us that in the previous episode that uh dobby actually called out hawks's real name which is crazy because i don't think anybody has mentioned hawks's real name i mean maybe the audience and whatnot already knew because we met him professionally and uh were introduced as such uh, to his character like that so maybe we did already know his real name but the fact that dobby knew is wild uh because hawks is he was also saying that he, he Dobby is one of the ones Dobby and Shigaraki those two couldn't he couldn't figure out anything about him couldn't find any info on them and like you know to figure out what their histories are like or what their what their actual names are you know what their upbringing was like what their past was like how they end up like this everybody else he had information on like that like Toga twice you know Jin Bubaigawara or whatever his name is Bubaigawara something like that that's uh, twice his real last name so like he had information on everybody else but he could not find shit on Dobby and uh Shigaraki so that's where Hawks was just like who are you bro like who the fuck are you and, and it really made I'm sure it made Hawks even more confused and like got, that's what got him to actually question Dobby that is that Dobby said his real name he's like how who, who are you bro how do you know my name you know what I'm saying it's one of those moments like what the fuck like if some if some random person that you've never met before at all came up to you randomly on the street or like at a public event or something and say like you had like no social media or something because maybe they know you from like social media if you do some stuff like this content creation or something oh i've seen your shit okay cool um i've never seen you before but obviously you know of me blah 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 whatever but say it's literally a complete stranger and uh you have never seen them before and you're not on the internet at all so it's just like how the fuck do you know like would just be creeped the fuck out so i'm sure that's that's really what it seemed like how hawks felt because the way he said it like who are you like he was like really like pleading like what like he just didn't get it he didn't understand how dobby knew his name and dobby actually answered hawks right there it's just one of those anime, anime moments like they don't do this often uh but it has happened every once in a while and i think it really creates an inter interesting dynamic because it once it makes the audience and whoever's reading slash watching the story uh, want to uh, keep going you know what I'm saying so like what the fuck did he actual actually say I'm sure we're gonna find it out later in, in the series obviously I already have hints and uh, my own info to my accord since I've read it before but I'm not spoiling shit I don't know a fucking thing my mouth is fucking shut who the fuck knows what's gonna happen uh, but I like those moments like that where they, they they bleep out or not even it's not even bleep It's just complete silence. You see their lips move and it's like what the fuck did he say? So it makes you keep watching so we we'll have to wait and see and uh, When that reveal actually comes up if, it, if it's in a flashback and we actually hear what Hawks heard himself or uh, Maybe you know, there's a another way of going about it But regardless that is that, that is those mo moments like that you know it's like the anticipation in the in the mystery is what makes you want to keep watching and that's just one aspect of it that's just one as that's just one aspect of people that fuck with Dobby and Dobby's been a part of the show for so long so obviously people want to know more and uh, so that just keeps pulling you know people to keep watching and reading even more uh in just in in that case for just one character and there's so many characters in the show there's so many like I said like it's like complete chaos right now bro and it just keeps getting better and better like there's just so much shit happening all at once we got the gunga villa operation which in Thai has hawks doing his thing who just killed twice and is talking to dobby and dobby reveals some crazy shit and toga and whoever else and they're trying to fucking fend off the heroes and we got tokiyami kaminari and fucking two of the other class b students there with Fakum and a bunch of other pro heroes we're seeing them all there they're carrying out the operation um more on the outskirts and hawks is really like in the front 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 lines and then we got we go over to the hospital and murko's been fucking up high ends for like the past like hour and a half it seems like just fucking going in trying to get to the doctor actually gets to the where the doctor's at fucks up tomura's fucking little capsule thing basically destroys it really scares the doctor somehow the data was stay stayed there and you know he was going to try and wake him up after that but then you know president mike comes in he fucking finishes the job destroys the capsule and Endeavor and the rest of them are trying to fight off the other high ends as they are starting to help out Mirko and just in that in that laboratory that secret laboratory in general like 
you see how fast I'm talking and how much I had to just say right there? Like, there is so much going on all at once. This is a 20-minute episode. Like, how the f- what the, Like, bro. And we're only four episodes in. Four. Four episodes in. This is all- This is- It's all- I'm on- It's- The number is on one hand, bro. And we got fucking 20, 20 something more of this bitch. Like, oh my god. It's fucking amazing. It's fucking amazing, bro. This was another stunning episode, and I can't wait for the next one. Yeah, after talking that damn fast and that damn much, how crazy everything's going right now. I need to take a break. Fucking feel a little, feel a little sore. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was. I'm glad I saved that for last. I think, I think that's my usual routine now on Saturdays is save my hero for last. In order, Spy Family, Blue Lock, my hero, baby. Gotta save the best for last. This shit is popping the fuck off right now. I love it so much. If you guys enjoyed the reaction, please leave a like down below. Comment and subscribe if you're new. There's plenty more reactions on the way. Plenty more of this fucking My Hero season. So please stay in tuned and I'll see y'all in the next one. Deuces.